All right, now I'm in Dreamweaver and I'm going to create three different pages to correspond with what we did. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a page called Dreamweaver 3. And I'm going to make sure that this is in my LT root and projects, skills, right there. Be sure to add the Title up top. And now just for the sake of ease, I'm going to create a basic table for layout. Two by two table. We'll make this 800. We're going to put zero border, zero, zero. Okay, drag that down, drag this over, drag it down. Now, sometimes I even like to put in a little color, just kind of give me a framework to work in. Actually, let's make that blue. Do these tops the same color, so I'm just going to mouse over get my picker and now I'm going to decide where to put so I'm going to put insert and this is where I'm going to put the buttons I'm going to go to image objects and navigation bar so I've got to name the first button I'm going to name it home I'm going to go to home up select it then for the over image I'm going to go to home over now I'm going to call this home, and when I click it, I want it to go to Dreamweaver. I'm going to actually make this go vertically, and I'm going to hit plus. So in this case, the second page, if you remember, it was called page 2. Actually, I lied, because I don't remember. It's called page 1, so I'm going to page one up and then page one over for my second hopefully you can kind of see it's making sense what I'm doing here and then when clicked now I've not actually created so if I browse you notice I've not created a page one so in this case just can't cancel and I'm just gonna type in page one because I know that's what I'm gonna call it however I have to remember to create it when I'm done that's the key Then add one more and I'm gonna call this resources Browse up, go from my up, add my over, add my alternate text, which is important. And once again, because this page hasn't been created, I'm going to call that. And I'm going to hit OK. And so then you can see that it's added my button. So I can click over here in this table, make it tighter. I can also click in this bigger table and play with the alignment if I want to. So I can do that. I'm going to make sure I have the right table selected. And I'm going to go with my vertical top. So that's exactly what I want. So now I'm going to save this. And because I need to create my page one and resources, I'm going to do a save as. Call this page one. Change my title. Save it. Do it once more for resources. After I've saved them all, I'm going to view them and see what it looks like. And it's taken a while for that to come, so we'll try one of the others. Okay, so now I can see that when I mouse over them, I can get the image action. I can also see my alternate text come up. And then when I click on it, I can see I went to page one. I can also see it up there. And I click here. You can see it goes to resources. It says resources here too. And there. And if I go back to home, 
See, that's Dreamweaver 3 and Dreamweaver 3. So that's a basic way to add buttons. One other way that you can add buttons is, in this case, I'm going to go to Dreamweaver 1, and I'm just going to insert a table in the middle here just to illustrate a point. I'm going to change this to percent and hit OK. So in this table, I'm going to actually go to Insert, Image Objects, and do a rollover image. So this is where I'm just going to call this Test. I'm going to do the original image as up, and then over. Preload image, I'm going to make sure I call this Test, and we'll just have it actually, because Let's just hit Browse and have it go to Resources. Hit OK. And now you can see that you can put rollover over images really wherever you want. Let's hit this, and it's basically the JavaScript that's making it do that. So now when I mouse over it, I can see that I can put these images wherever I want. So that's just a quick video on how to make basic navigation as well as mouse over rollover images within your page.